a video for Andrew Alderton. Um, just talking about the weather compensation controls on the Vsman 200 and the ability to adjust um, the level as well as the slope. So if we go into heating and we go into heating curve, we well, see here we've got uh, two parameters we can adjust in the settings. We've got the slope and we've got the level. Now historically I've always left the level on zero and not really had a problem. But uh, I noticed uh, with a few of my more techie customers who were doing the fine adjustments, they were actually getting into adjusting the level and I was a bit, uh, a bit puzzled by it. But with a little bit of feedback from them, and also a little bit playing around with my own video, my own, my own video, my own boiler. Um, I worked out that uh, there's other factors at play. So if you imagine, actually this kitchen, I mean, is a really good example. So in this little kitchen here, you have to excuse, I haven't tied it up. I've just come back from holiday and thrown some food together. It's a small kitchen. There is a fridge in it and I have my boiler, but there's no radiator and it's winter time. And in here is 21.3. Seems to keep the temperature in very nicely for me. Most breakfast times when I'm sitting here having my breakfast, I have this door open to allow the heat to escape from this room with no other heat sources but these two in the room. And this is an internal wall, internal wall, internal wall. And this external wall has a, an extra stud wall built on it with three inches of rock wall inserted in it. So highly insulated wall there. So the only real heat loss is this doorway. And it's not enough. Um, also don't have a window in this kitchen. Right, so the point is, is that other factors in the property um, are actually letting heat into the property. This room's an extreme example. But throughout the house, we've got tenants in rooms, we've got TVs, computers, and various other heat sources. So actually, we don't need the boiler to actually start heating the property until we get to maybe, what, 17 degrees outside, in order to maintain the 20. There's already enough energy from other sources in the property um, to maintain that temperature. So what we've done is basically we've dropped this level to bring in the whole heating curve at a lower starting point. So you can see here my foot point's actually 18 instead of 20. So uh, I don't know if you can work it out, but somewhere around about probably 17 degrees actually that's going to be hitting the 20 degree mark. So in theory, below that, the boiler should start popping a little bit of heat into the flow um, to try and maintain the property property temperatures. Very good stable temperatures in the house. Um, and it's doing very, very well for me. So um, now this level does exactly the same thing as adjusting the actual set temperature for the room. So it's exactly the same adjustment in effect. Um, on the graphs, it's normally shown as a line across this way with the room temperature set on it. But it isn't the same thing because I've still got the same if I come out of here. Um, I've still got the same uh, the same settings for room temperature. I haven't actually adjusted that temperature at all. I've just adjusted this, the, the overall curve by adjusting the slope and the level. Um, I don't know how clear that is. It's clear in my mind, but it always is when you're doing the talking. But I hope it's clear to anyone listening. So, um, yeah, I hope that helped.